Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my wonderful and juicy and delicious little subscribers out there. And how I love you all so, and I hope that you're all super duper well, super duper wonderful and super duper delicious wherever you are in the world and that life is treating you oh so deliciously. Now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to any passers-by and I hope that you too are having a super duper and wonderful time wherever you are in the world. So much love to you all as well, my delicious little baby. So what do we do now? Three, two, one. Beam me up, my juice little lats. Thank you, little lats. You're delicious and bright. Now then, so they are actually, aren't they, my delicious little babies? Yes, okay. Now then, so I'm late do my video today, okay? So our weather in our old neck of the woods in the old UK. Well, just to let you know, my delicious little baby as well. It is raining, it's raining. So it's the evening time now, my delicious little babies. Uh, it is very, very wet outside and it is rather chilly, chilly billy. Okay, my delicious little babies. It may differ in other parts of the old UK. Okay, now if you do happen to enjoy my video today, if you could please click on the like for others of you, please feel free to subscribe. And, uh, well, that's that really. <laughs> please and thank, thank, thank you. Now then, so I like to, let's just kick this off. So I like to look at, uh, you know, some cookery videos, okay? I do actually enjoy them, you know. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, when you, do you know what I mean? You already know how to cook. But, you know, it's good to also, um, you know, have new ideas, you know, see what others do. You know, it's I, I just enjoy anything like that, my delicious, <laughs> delicious baby. Sorry. I'm not interested in flipping baking, right? I find it totally flipping boring, my delicious <laughs> little babies, right? My dear Nana, God rest a beautiful dear little soul, my dear Nana and Granda. Oh, how I love you so, okay? Well, she tried, oh gosh, I lose count, my delicious little baby, so okay, of how many times, you know, she tried to get me to just stand still to watch, you know, and that was from a real young Ben. Do you see what I mean? And, and every time, you know, I, I don't know. My concentration just went, my delicious little baby, do you know what I mean? I had no concentration, I had no interest at all. But when she was cooking like savoury, now you're talking. Do you see what I mean? And I love to cook savoury. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But I suppose the other thing is as well, anybody who knows me, okay, does know that uh, I really just do not have uh, much of a sweet tooth at all. So anybody who knows me does actually know this. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So say, for example, if somebody buys me chocolates, okay, which, you know, I've been bought a couple, you know, um, rather recently okay well it can just take forever to uh to get through really do you know what i mean so i either share them or give some to my beautiful and delicious little ruby tuesday you know i mean they tell you not to give a chocolate to uh your little babies your little animals i, I do not like to call them little doggies but your little doggies they say oh do not give them this oh do not give them that do you say to me well I can do what I like. Do you know what I mean? You only live once. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, and if that's what I choose to do, then that's what I choose to do. Oh, that just reminds me of something just before I really start, yes? When um, my beautiful and delicious little Ruby Tuesday, because, I mean, I've got my beautiful and delicious little amazing me, right? But when little Ruby, she was only little like this, okay? So she was only about this uh, big, yes? And this is many years ago. Now then, I've been bought a massive, a massive, I mean, this was massive. In fact, I'd never seen, you know, such a large box of chocolates before. That's size, you know, milk tray, it was, okay? And it was flipping massive and somebody bought it for me as a gift, you know, around the Christmas time. Anyway, so, and of course, you know, uh, we bought... Um, our beautiful little Ruby Tuesday. When did we buy her now? It was the, I do believe it was the October. Anyway, I've got her certificates and everything anyway, okay? And we went out. Now, what happened was there was a part where I'd left the, the chocolates, okay? It wasn't out for long. I think, I do believe, I'm pretty sure. I think I was, we was out shopping, yes? So you're talking about an hour, if that, okay? <laughs> right. 
you're not going to believe what my beautiful and delicious little Ruby Tuesday did, right? So while we were out, right, she climbed up, you know, on, onto the sofa. She's only little, don't forget, right? Onto the sofa and onto this where it was like an inbuilt sort of bookcase sort of thing, yes. But it was deep enough that you could, you know, place these chocolates. Well, we came back, me and my daughters, and, uh, well, the box was on the floor. Three quarters of the chockies had gone, right? Obviously, in little, beautiful little Ruby Tuesday's tummy, right? I mean, it's not funny. It wasn't funny at the time. I was look about as I can assure you. But the reason why I'm saying it is, you know, when you look back at memories, you know, seeing as I'm on the topic of chocolates, yes? And then, God bless a beautiful dear little soul. She then spent the next hour projecting, you know, vomiting. And we had this for an hour till it was like a massive for people. So uh, as quick as you're cleaning it up, do you see what I mean? She just boop, boop, just kept projecting, right? T clearly to get it out of the system. So what had happened was she'd clearly eaten, <laughs> eaten sorry, too many chockies. I mean, please do not get me wrong. I mean, she was fine the next day. But I tell you what, oh dear, and the little nose is all dry and everything. Do you know what I mean? She really had one tummy ache. But the thing was, she never went near any uh, chocolates again. But mind you, I put them in a, a different place. There's somebody who was kind enough to uh, buy me some, right? And I had to put them in a different place. But, you know, she does like, you know, um, some chocolate. You know, she does like uh, chocolate biscuits or anything like that. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Little Rubes has a sweet tooth. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants to just look back and say, oh, yes, she does. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's, that's what I wanted to tell you there. But, yeah, that was just uh, a memory from when she was really, really little. God bless her. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, oh, gosh. You know, the things they do. I mean, when you think about it, when they're little, I mean, it's like having a little bairn, isn't it? It's like having a little child. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, so, you know, you know, you ask them not to do something, they're going to the opposite, don't they? <laughs> anyway, uh, most, mostly. Right, now then. Um, so, now, as I enjoy watching cookery programmes, let me get back to the matter in hand. So, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you, okay? Well, there was a tune on a few of these cookery um, videos, okay? And it's, uh, I don't know if you all know this song, my delicious babies, uh, it, I think it's a few years old now. Love me like you do, la la, love me like you do, okay? But they're playing the tune, so as they're doing the cook, you know, the cooking, preparing and everything, all you can hear, it's, I mean, it's actually really beautiful, you know, the actual song itself, you know, it, it's really beautiful, you know, just to listen to the, the actual tune. So it's the music, not the, you know, uh, somebody singing, okay? Anyway, but uh, never mind, because, I mean, the song's lovely in itself. I thought, well, let me just click on to this and just look at the words, the lyrics. To this. Anyway, so something then got me on to doing something else, my delicious little babies. Now, I bet you're thinking to yourself, oh, flip me, what's this crazy woman talking about? Again, Jesus me. But I thought, and something, you know, while I was cooking me curry earlier, right? And I thought, you know something? I thought, I'm going to look. So I broke it all down, the numbers, you know, love me like you do. So what I did is I turned uh, the letters into numbers, okay? And then what I then did was I then added each one up so love would be you know four letters so I added it all up me would be two letters so I added that up and then like do you see what I'm saying to you yes so uh let's just say so once I'd done all of that and I added it all up right then what I did okay was I got the total okay the total to you know, love me like you do. So then I got the total, okay? Then what I then did was I divided it, so I shared it by two, okay? Which gave me my number. Then, um, so in the end, um, how this worked was, okay, the number, I then added that together 
to get one single number. Now, some of you are probably thinking to yourself, you know, she's just crazy. Well, I'm not actually, right? Seven, so it came to seven. So when I broke everything down, it came to number seven. Now, I've said before, and I'll say it again, okay? Number seven is an important number, my delicious little babies, yes? So I'm just gonna give you the meaning of it, shall I, okay? So number seven is, I've, I've wrote this down really flipping small. Please do forgive me on my delicious little babies. I try not to wear my specs, my glasses, but sometimes, God bless, I have to. So let's just have a look. Deep and wise, okay? It is not, it is not satisfied with simple explanations. It knows that the real gold is buried deeper and won't stop until it finds it and then keeps digging for more. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious look about this? It's a, it's a little bit like what's going on now in the world, isn't it? There we are. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious look about this? Yes. I just thought I'd share that with you. But the song itself. So if you're looking at it as a romantic song, okay. For some delicious little babies out there, it will serve them. Okay. So we just got to get real here. Do you know what I mean? Like each song in the world has a different meaning for each different man or woman. Okay. So we all know that, don't we? My delicious little babies. Yes. Okay. Uh, but if we're looking at this from a different point of view and you just take, which is what I did, this is what I tend to do with a lot of songs, my delicious little babies, yes, you just take bits and pieces out of different songs, okay? And then you can really turn it into, um, you know, what's going on in the world. It's really hard for me to explain my delicious little babies, but, but I know what I'm talking about, okay? Well, I suppose, as long as I know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? But I'm hoping, my delicious little babies, that you're getting where I'm coming from here, do you see, okay? So that's that. Now then, something else I want to say, that doesn't mean no, by the way. Now, you see, something else was on my mind, Okay, now before I get to that, let me just um, talk about a couple of other things, okay? Before I, I go on to what I wanted to talk about, yes? So, um, so there's a woman called um, Judy Mikovits, okay? Now, it's not like me. Anyway, I'm not advertising. I'm talking about this particular lady, yes? Well, anyway, um, with this dear lady here now, She's had, you know, um, everything from death threats and everything. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. So she's older than me. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But anyway, Judy Mikovits, okay? So I'll leave it like that. Okay. Now then, um, I put a little comment uh, on another video, okay? Um, today, I, I, I think it was about, well, it was so many hours ago now anyway. And, you know, I'm always polite, you know, with this particular gentleman. He's somebody who I've uh, advertised many times before. Oh, a lovely dear gentleman. He is not in that way, my delicious little babies, yes? Anyway, and uh, all I put was, you know, you know, thank you, and do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I put, yes. And then, um, I just put thieves. Do you see what I'm saying, dear? Who it was, yes. Anyway, so a while later, I then received you know, a comment, you know, because you all know my delicious little babies. Well, you all know me by now that at the end of the day, you know, I like to look at comments. Do you see what I mean? Anyway. Well, I happen to receive one, right? So whoever it was, is a, like a grumpy little bear. Do you know what I mean? In fact, I'll tell you his name, actually, because um, I feel the need to do this now. Uh, Mark Script. I thought, hmm. Well, the word script suits him, doesn't it? Because he seems to, in his old noddle, read from a script. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Anyway, so he put... Thank you for letting me... Now, listen to this, my delicious little babies. This is the madness, do you see to me? Thank you for letting me know that the mission was accomplished. Now, walk slowly with your I hate 
Britain sign. What? Because the video was actually talking about a particular diamond, which happens to be in the Fight Queen's um, crown. Right? And what this is about is that really it should be returned back to India. Okay? And I'd say most likely along with other things. Okay? Now, some of you out there, my delicious, uh, delicious little baby, sorry. For some of you out there, you know, you may disagree with me. Now, I love being English, so I'm never going to change that, my delicious little babies, yes? I love being English, okay? So, you know, I love... I, I do not love the country the way it is right now, no. I mean, I love man and woman for most. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Not in that way, but do you know what I'm saying to you, yes? But I'm also aware that many decades ago, right, well, we was not, and again, this is just a figure of speech, again, we was not white and white. I'm not talking about myself personally or those of us here now, right? I'm going back decades and decades and decades, do you see what I'm saying, yes? We was not whiter than white, yes? So the little, there we go, so the little tea leaves. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? And what this very short video was talking about was that um, this particular diamond was gifted to our fake queen, you know, the fake monarchy and all that, in our naked woods in the old UK. Well, not in my naked woods, you know, up, up or down the road, right? Okay. Um, uh, from either a 9, 10 or 11 year old well I just personally do not feel that uh, a, a young Ben is uh, old enough to make that sort of decision do you see what I'm anyway my point is that's all I put I put thank you you know for obviously the video and that yes because I happen to enjoy listening to this dear gentleman he just does little short videos yes and he's a lovely dear gentleman, God bless him. Like I say, not in that way. But I just put thieves, because it's the truth. Do you see what I mean? At the end of the day, it, it, it's as though, uh, not for everybody, my delicious little babies, but some English, right, seem to be missing a little part out, or I'd say a lot. There we go. In history. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. And they do seem to miss out. When, you know, for our um, English, do you know what I mean? Like uh, decades and decades ago, that they have, uh, which I feel have got things in their possession which they should not have in their possession. Do you see what I'm saying to you, my delicious little babies? Yes. But, <clears throat> and uh, excuse me, and if we look at other countries, I would say, it's, there we go, it's equally the same. Okay, uh, but obviously we all know that there is a certain country where a lot has been stolen. There we are. Okay, my delicious little babies. It begins with I. Okay, my delicious little babies. So I'm going to leave it like that. So anyway, so when this Egypt sent me this comment, so I'm going to tick that off. So when this Egypt sent me that comment, right, I just thought, you know what? I thought you're just a silly flipping prat. Do you see what I'm saying? Obviously got nothing, you know, better to do. Uh, and then I looked at the comments, yes? And then it said something to somebody else. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? And I just thought, well, you know, send a comment when you know what you're talking about. There we are. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Do not just keep your eyes closed when it suits you and your ears shut. Do you see what I'm saying, Yes. So I just thought I'd let you know that. But anyway, it's very rare I ever receive, um, you know, reply to a comment, actually. Usually, if I do receive one, my delicious little babies, it's usually very uh, positive. There we go. It's usually really positive, you know. So we've um, clearly got uh, the script man there, who's uh, like a grumpy flipping old bear. There we go. Like a grumpy old bear, it seems. Do you see what I mean? Doesn't like to see certain things do you see what i'm saying anyway, I, just, I thought i'd just let you know that it's more of a it never annoyed me my delicious little babies i just wanted to share it with you that you know this is what you get when others have a uh different um viewpoint to somebody else do you see what i mean oh yes that's the other thing i wanted to say now in serbia i was listening to another video yesterday 
uh, with a juicy and delicious gentleman, okay, um, who I'm subscribed to, and uh, yes, a lovely gentleman, anyway. And um, well, he uh, um, is in Serbia, anyway. Well, it started uh, to snow in Serbia, and that's in the month of April, okay. Well, I remember, I must look this up actually, that it was one April in our UK, okay, where we did have, uh, yes, we did, we did have snow, okay, because usually what they say uh, in the UK is April showers, so when April comes, it usually means, you know, it's raining, if it's raining, it's raining, do you see what I mean, it's like constant flipping rain, okay, I mean, not that we're complaining, it's water, but at the same time, if you've got it flipping, for most of flipping April, it, well, it's just enough to flipping drive anyone. There we go, flipping crackers. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. But we've known this for donkeys, anybody who lives in the old UK, right? Anyway, so, and he happened to be saying that. So, you know, so I just put a comment, you know, and he had to go and get a scarf, you know, because because uh, he was he, he never had uh, the, the correct, you know, clothing, you know, because, uh, well, he'd, he didn't know it was going to snow. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But the way I see it is like this, and I just put, you know, well, Serbia, you know, uh, something like Serbia will be just fine, which, of course, it will be. It's a bit of flipping snow. Do you see what I'm saying to you? It's hardly the flipping end of the world. I mean, look at other uh, countries, uh, 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 one of them being the, uh, the USA, in parts of the USA. I mean, the flipping snow is up to here. Do you see some sign to you? Yes, so anyway, so I just sort of mentioned that. So, yeah, I mean, Serbia, that'll be just fine, do you see to me? But for the past two nights, okay, now, I, I recall this last night, okay, but I've completely forgotten. In fact, uh, my dear and uh, wonderful little neighbour up the road, you know, the ones who um, bring down, you know, from the allotments, well, his dear wife, God bless her, and, she, and I, so I said, oh, so I said, flipping frost. You know, see, like there's frost on, on one of the cars. And she said, yes, she said, you know, we've had it for two nights. And I thought, oh, yes. I said, oh, yes, I said, you are correct. You know, but I was only thinking about, you know, last night, do you say? But we've had frost, I mean, and that's in the month of April. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. But if we look at this another way, it's showing the state of affairs in different countries. Ding, ding, dong, dong. Are you following me, my delicious little babies? So, you know, it's like, oh, if something's frosty, if something's cold. Or, you know, you can have what I call warm snow. Or you can have cold snow. What I mean by that is, it is the air. So sometimes you can have like, you know, where it's, uh, oh, it's so cold. You know, it feels, you know, icy cold. And then you've got when you've got snow, that it actually feels rather warm, the air feels warm, do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I just sort of mention it, say, yeah, Serbia, you'll be just fine, Serbia, do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Just like our Nicola Woods in the old UK or anywhere else that, uh, you know, receives uh, weather that uh, would not normally happen at a certain time of the year, do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, but again, we get back to zuzum, zuzum. Do you saw some signs, you might have the vibes. Anyway, so I just sort of say all that, yes. So uh, now then, the last thing I want to talk about is, um, so I decided, I thought something came into me all not all earlier, and I thought, you know something, I thought I'm going to um, read up on this. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, what's she going to flip it? There we go. What's she going to flip and come out with next? She said to me, but I'm trying to explain something here, my delicious little babies, yes? So I'm going to read it out. Now, I do need my specs again, my delicious little babies. You know, the reason, like I said, you know, I try my best not to wear them, but uh, sometimes many of me own flipping writing. I mean, look at this, the way I flipping write sometimes, she said to me, especially if I'm rushing, you know, to write something down. When I actually take the time to write, okay, it can actually be lovely and neat. You know, I've had many who have said to me, oh, you know, your writing is so lovely, so pretty looking, she said to me. But when I'm rushing, it looks flipping damn well mess. Anyway, so uh, I'm just gonna have some of my coffee, please, and thank, thank, thank you.
So what it is, I'm going to read this out to my delicious look babies. Now, please make this as what you will, okay? And, um, you, well, you know, just um, take it upon yourself to, you know, think whatever it is that you want to think about what I'm saying. Anyway, it's just something that came into me or not. So I'm going to proceed in reading, okay? Uh, where did numerals come from? Sorry, originate, okay? Uh, we must go back to 6th century India, okay? Now, the thing is, can I just say something to you, my delicious little babies? This is only what I'd read, okay? Only what I'd read, okay? So if somebody knows something different, then by all means, okay? I'm only letting you know what I'd read, okay, my delicious little babies? So that's that. Right, uh, now then. Uh, are ya batter? Are ya batter? Invented a set of numerals that is now used by people all over the world. Okay? But they have changed greatly over the centuries, passing first to Arabs, okay? Of the Middle East, and finally to Europe in the Middle Ages. Okay? This is only what I've read, my delicious look about this, okay? And are now the most commonly used numbers throughout the world. Okay? Now then, let me continue. Sorry, I'm just reading my own variety, my delicious babies, okay? When the world trade, so now this is, so what's happened is, I've just told you that bit, yes? So this is another part now. All I was doing was taking out chunks, do you see what I'm saying, yes, of, of a different uh, paragraph, yes? Okay. When the World Trade Center's Twin Towers opened in 1973 to the public, okay, uh, they were the tallest buildings in the world, okay? David Rockefeller, uh, Rockefeller's grandson, of the um, of the first billionaire in the US had the idea to build a world trade center, okay, in the port district in Lower Manhattan in the 1950s. By the 1960s, city states and business leaders came on board. Okay, my delicious baby, so that's that part, yes? Uh, right, okay. Who stole the world? Okay, my delicious little babies, yes? Um, they're bankers, uh, traders, investment fund executives, uh, frauds, lies, cons. Okay, my delicious little babies? They forgot all about morality to make money. Yes. Well, I don't know about you, my delicious babies, but I totally agree with all of that, okay, my delicious babies? Let's proceed. The entire world had to suffer the consequences of their actions. Well, this is what we're seeing now, my delicious babies. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? So, like I said, this is just what I've read, okay? So, like I said, I was taking chunks, you know, and then, you know, writing it down, okay? So, now I want to go on to something else because it goes on to here then, okay? Uh, to the next page. Right, so this is something else now, my delicious babes, yes? The tallest man living today is 8 foot 2.8 inches tall. Okay, uh, his name is Sultan, okay, uh, Kosen, okay, uh, celebrates his 40th birthday. So at the time, you know, who'd ever, you know, um, put this onto the internet, you know, they were letting everybody know that, you know, this uh, gentleman had celebrated his uh, 40th birthday, yes. Uh, Sultan Kosan standing next to a life-size statue of Robert Wadlow, 8 foot uh, 11, is it 8 foot 11 
inches tall okay so that's that okay now then Ghana okay my delicious cook babies uh Saul Mana Abdul Samed Samed okay uh is nine foot six inches tall okay now at one point it's as though he was uh they thought you know that he was um to be the tallest man in the world but it turned out the other one was okay now the plan was to have him lean against a wall mark it by the crown of his head and then determine his height using the measuring tape okay it's too different i do believe actually i think the first one if my mind serves me correctly is turkish and then uh yeah sultan kosen i'm pretty sure he's turkish and then the second one please do not quote, quote me i forgot to flip you right that bit down but turkey just comes into the old nod of the cow should i'm pretty sure it's turkey and the other one garner okay so uh nine foot six inches tall okay he's meant to be tallest man living today is eight foot 2.8 inches yeah so i think what it was i think garner's the gentleman of garner he was the tallest okay but now the one who's alive, I do believe, is 8 foot 2.8 inches tall, okay? So let me just uh, continue. Right, he turned out to be taller than most of his houses in the neighbourhood. This is uh, Saul Mana Abdul Samed, 9 foot 6 inches tall, okay? So... Uh, when he was uh, alive, it seems, because I think he must not be here now, okay? Um, well, he was taller than most of his houses in his neighbourhood. Okay, my delicious babies, okay, so let me just carry on reading. <sighs> oh, this is interesting, this part, my delicious babies, okay? He took off his shoes large slip-ons uh specially made from car tires and nailed together for him by a local handyman uh, as he has been unable to find shoes to fit him okay one of his neighbors um clambered up on a wooden stool to reach seven foot four inches. No, this is another one now. What have I done here? <laughs> Sorry about the little back because I've done something here. What have I bloody done? Hold on. To reach. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. Uh, all right. I know what I've done now. I've done the compose. I have done it because I was just too busy scribbling it all down. Right, okay. One of his neighbours clambered up on a wooden stool to reach seven foot four inches, okay? Arch his height um, so he could mark the wall with a piece of charcoal. Uh, enough said, I've just put next to that. The tallest man is barely um, a foot taller than you. So, really, well, I mean, he must still be alive then, so how can, if he's nine foot six inches, and the other one, I think I've, you know what I've done, my delicious little babies, I've wrote two separate, um, this is what I've done, so I've wrote, you, you know, one part, then another part, and I've taken, like I said, chunks out. So what I've done, I've sort of gone, I've jumped from one thing to the other, in other words. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants to just about it. So I do apologise about that, yes. So the one in Turkey, okay, from what I know, yes, he was um, shorter than the one in Ghana. Okay, my delicious babies, yes. 
But what was interesting was just, you know, at the end of this, what I put the tallest man is barely a foot taller than you. So how I looked at that, I'm just looking at this from a different angle, my delicious baby's right. So something that made me write that, you know, that part down, right? And what I'm saying to you, so I hope you all got that, my delicious baby's, yes? But what made me write that down is because, you see, that's what I'm saying to you. You see, even though somebody, I'm just going to close my book, even though somebody can seem really tall, okay, uh, well, really, they're not, um, it doesn't, what I'm saying to you is my delicious little babies, yes, I'm just trying to find a way to put this in the best words I can, okay, it doesn't mean that they're more powerful just because they're taller, do you see what I'm saying to you, that's how I looked at that, so that's why I wrote that last part, do you see what I'm saying to you, yes, so even though they're taller, which, you know, could mean taller uh, financially or something like that, yes, doesn't mean that they're more powerful. Okay, they've got the ka -ching, so let's see who's running the world. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you want to delicious to about this? Sorry, that's how I'm trying to get it across to you, yes? So even though they've got the ka -ching, okay, so they seem, they appear taller, shall we say. That's the best way that I'm getting this across to you, my delicious babies, yes? So they seem taller, okay, because they've got ka-ching, like I keep saying, yes? But really they're not. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? So even though we look, you know, rather small, do you see what I'm saying to you? We are equally as powerful out here. Do you see what I'm saying to my delicious babies? That's the best way to explain it, okay? But what was interesting is that you had Turkey and you had Ghana. That's what was interesting to me. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? So I was sort of looking at this, not sort of, I was looking at this in a different way. There we go. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? So that's the video, my delicious babies. Just one more sip of my coffee, please. Thank, thank, thank you. I'm really enjoying this evening, my delicious But Well, anyway, I enjoy my coffee at any time, but I've got cream in it. Please and thank, thank, thank you. I love a creamy coffee, you know. <laughs> I mean, I can drink a black coffee. Do you understand what I mean? No problem. Do you sort of sign to yes? But I mean, I do love a, a lovely uh, creamy coffee. I really do, you know. Anyway, so my point to everything what I've just said. So yes, I know it sounded like I jumped in places. Do you sort of sign? But the other thing that was very interesting was, um, you know, making the shoes out of, t you know, tyres. Do you see some sign to my delicious little babies, yes? It's just very interesting, isn't it? But when we go back to when shoes were made, do you see some sign to you? Like our feet are supposed to breathe, aren't they? So our feet are supposed to breathe, you know, we're supposed to um, be able to walk very comfortably with our feet, aren't we? My delicious little babies, yes, and our legs, yes. But if you look, and I mean, this takes me uh, onto something else, sorry, it's not something I've even uh, wrote down. It's like, you know, when you looked at the celebrities, you know, you don't seem to hear of many now, do you? Apart from the ones who were um, trying to uh, entice others to jab, 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 jib, jab. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Well, I hope they've got a conscience. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, but that's the price you pay when you want everybody to look at me, fall to your feet, worship me. Do you see what I mean? There's always a price to pay, isn't there? Hmm. So anyway, but when you look at some of those, especially the women now, it wasn't so much the men, to be fair. Well, I suppose unless they wore high heels, okay? But for the women, I mean, they were getting, like, their toes. I mean, I'm not being nasty or anything, my delicious little babies, right? But their flipping feet were all, 
and the toes were all like this and all flipping, squashed up and everything. I mean, I'm not being nasty, my delicious babies, yes, but you see me, and I used to wear heels, my delicious babies, in fact, you know, I used to have some absolutely flipping, there we go, if I even say it, some flipping beautiful heels, do you understand what I'm saying? Those are the days when I used to walk in them. Do you see what I'm saying? I prefer flat shoes now, okay? Or, you know, if I'm walking out, you know, my beautiful and delicious little Ruby Tuesday, you know what I mean? I'm running here, there and everywhere. Well, I'll wear trainers. Do you see what I mean? Yes, pumps. But uh, at one time, yes, you know, used to see me out in heels. Do you see what I mean? I've still got heels now in boxes. Do you see what I mean? Not a level uh, warm. Just waiting for someone who's uh, uh, my size. Do you see what I mean? So I've still got more to give, you know, but not everybody's my foot. They're usually foot size. They're usually a, a foot uh, a size bigger, sorry, or a couple of sizes bigger than mine. Just even, even my own beautiful little daughters. Oh, how I love them so. God bless them. Uh, even they've got a uh, bigger feet than me. Do you see some saying to you? Yes, it's not like I could pass it on to the to them, because you know at the end of the day they've got bigger feet. Do you say? But uh, so you know, to me, there is no shoe that I would wear to squash up all my toes like that. So it looks, do you know what I mean? Well, I just think it looks flipping damn well ugly. And that's the price that you pay for vanity and just to look flipping all glorious. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, not a chance. You know what I mean? I like my feet to look like feet. You know, I don't want somebody to come along and flipping, <laughs> do you see what I mean? To flipping put my toe back into place. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes. And imagine if you're in a relationship, so it's just got me on Imagine if you're in a relationship, you know, and your man there flipping looks at your flipping feet and sees that all the flipping toes all flipping squashed up like that. I mean, it's not a very nice sight, is it, my delicious little babies? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm not being nasty or anything, I'm just done saying it. Something to just about me just say. But when we look at it, yes, yeah, so shoes were made. But if we also look at, you know, you could get foot problems. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, with certain shoes, okay? Whereas, you know, like many moons ago, you know, decades and decades and decades and decades and decades ago, you know, you used to have ones, you know, um, well, I mean, I suppose, you know, I mean, go back to the Nyangathals, you know, I mean, they never wore shoes, did they? Do you see what I'm saying? She was a little bit yes? And I mean, and then you've got others where, uh, just before I finish my video, it's all right, it's because I'm flipping on it now, aren't I, right? It's like uh, you look at well-known um, trainers. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? And I mean, they cost a pretty penny, don't they? To buy in the shops. Whereas, you know, those who make them, well, they do not get paid a pretty penny, do they? I'd call it slave labour, there we go, myself. Do you see what I mean? Of course, it's gone on for decades, hasn't it? Oh, and one last thing I wanted to say, okay? So God bless, you know, whoever's uh, sadly, you know, been slave-driven, okay, like that, you know, to provide for the West. Anyway, um, so the last thing that I just wanted to say, right, uh, it was on my mind, now, I was thinking earlier, right, and it's just something that just crossed my mind, okay? You know what? I was thinking that more out there should uh, invest in a sewing machine. <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, what's your bloody going on about that, okay? Well, I was thinking, you know, because... You know, the sign of the times and everything. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? Well, the thing is, is that, well, I suppose it would pay, you know, as well as doing other things for ourselves, but to invest in a sewing machine for those who do not have one. You know, so that they can make their own clothes and everything. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants a little look babies. Anyway, it's just something that just crossed my mind. In fact, you know, my dad's sister, you know, 
she used to, um, oh gosh, she used to make her own clothes. I think from the age of her 17, she used to make her own clothes on the old sewing machine. Do you see to me? Yes, I mean, a beautiful dear Nana. God bless the beautiful dear little soul again. Well, she used to knit all her, um, you know, her own jumpers and everything. Like, I mean, beautiful jumpers. Absolutely stunning. Do you see what I'm saying? She wants to talk about this. And... The ones that she used to make, yes, which are rather heavy as well. Well, you know, they call them Aaron jumpers, like Aaron jumpers and Aaron cardigans, yes. And, uh, you know, when you look how much they charge in the shops for an Aaron jumper or for an Aaron cardigan. Flipping extortionate. And my beautiful dear little Nana, she used to flip in, uh, make them, uh, you know, knit them all the time. And my dear Nana, she could crochet, she could knit, she could do you some saying to you, she could sew, she could make clothes, she could do you some saying to you, yes? Anyway, it's just something that just crossed my mind, okay? So maybe, I mean, we used to have a place in uh, Birmingham in the town centre, yes? That's when you used to have the old rag market. Oh, it was a brilliant uh, market that was, you know. And you, you know, you're interacting, do you know what I mean? I used to love it, you know, and he'd say, go and get your tomatoes, come and get your apples, so much for, do you know what I mean? It's just that, oh, it's just, you miss those days. Do you understand what I mean? Well, I do anyway when you go back decades. You just miss all of that. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, yes? But there used to be a lot where you could buy fabric, all different fabric, you know, and to make different things, you know, or to uh, even to do furniture and things like that. Do you see what I'm saying to you, yes? So, I don't know, for some reason there we are, something's making me say this, you know, to go and get, see if you can go and get some um, material for those of you out there, you know, who may, you know, have an interest in this, do you see what I mean? And, you know, I'm pretty sure if you, look, you know, look around, shop around, that you'd be able to get material at a really good price. Do you see what I'm saying to you? Yes, anyway, so that's all I wanted to say. Please do not ask me why, because right now I do not know. There we are. I do not know why I'm saying it, but something just came into me not a little earlier, and I don't know why, okay? But it, it did, okay? So on that note, thank you very much for even taking the time to listen to me. I mean, I do, I know it seems like a ramble on anyway, but I know what I mean myself, okay? <laughs> and I can only hope that I get it across to you all, my delicious little babies, what I wanted to get across, okay? And what I have been getting across anyway. So um, wishing you, wherever you are in the world, a beautiful morning, afternoon or evening, okay? Sending you all so much love, my delicious little babies. Yes, you just take care of yourselves and please try your best to take care of others, okay? Because everybody needs somebody, okay? Um, also, you know, give a pat on the back, a shake of the old hand to some juicy and delicious little family members, friends or work colleagues, okay? And please tell them that they're beautiful, wonderful, juicy and delish. And that you love them so. Okay, so until my next video, my delicious little babies, if it sounds mixed up, I can only apologise, okay, but I know what I mean. Okay, my delicious little babies. So until my next video, so much love. God bless. Take care.